In all the world, there's no place quite like Zion National Park. And in all the year, there's not a week quite as magical as the first full week of November. That's when 24 amazing artists come to Zion to paint amid the autumn splendor and capture in their own way the beauty and mystery of its castles in the clouds. I have a special affinity for Zion. To have a week of just painting in Zion and going anywhere I want, sitting down under the autumn trees, listening to the water uh, roll past me and looking up at the, the steep cliffs up above and just painting what I see. That probably for me comes about as close to, to peace and serenity as anything I can think of. For me as an artist, that is a fantastic opportunity. The event celebrates the role art has played in the creation and history of the park. As visitors watch and interact, the artists paint plain air in the same places where Thomas Moran made his first Zion sketches. It gives visitors a unique experience. We can tell them that we have history of art in the park and that art helps shape the park, but in reality, they get to see how it worked. Daily demonstrations and lectures, as well as a paint out and auction on Saturday, cap the week of celebration. More than 100 paintings go on sale during the final weekend. You know, one of the really exciting things about this event is every single day there are demonstrations by each artist. Every one of the artists will spend at least an hour uh, during their week making a presentation right there at the Human History Museum where people can, can come and be there. They know which artist is coming and they can watch that artist produce something during that time. And that's kind of fun because you get a chance to interact and they can ask questions and they can see the piece that you're doing. There's something special about Zion National Park that is hard to talk about. It's almost like a spiritual thing for people. And when they come to Zion and watch those artists, the artists are good enough that they capture that spirit that people feel while they're here. If you can spend only one day in Zion this year, make it during the first full week of November when the air is crisp, the leaves glow, and the artists are at work.